Hi guys, I'm with the one and only beauty of Bollywood, Deepika. Deepika, welcome to the show. Thank you. So Deepika, tell me, how did you originally get involved in acting and modelling? Um, well, it's something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to be a part of the glamour industry. Um, Bollywood happened to me very suddenly. Uh, I think it's something that I probably would want to do, but I didn't think that it would happen to me so fast. Um, couple of years ago, two years ago in fact, Farah offered me Om Shanti Om and then that happened and then Bachna Hasino happened and now Chandni Chok to China. From a Chandni Chok to China Chanchal, Chital, Nirmal, Komal, Aisi Kanye, Ganesh Ji ki den mein hoti hai. Dekha kabhi hai tunne aina My family has been extremely supportive. Um, whether it was my decision to get into modeling or whether it was my decision now to get into films, they've always been extremely supportive mm -hmm. and um, I think uh, that's what has, uh, you know, taken me so far. The fact that they've been, been my support, and I, I know that whatever I do, they'll always be there for me. Now, Charlie Chok to China is such a big project. How were you cast for this particular role? Uh, Nikhil offered me Om Shan uh, uh, offered me Chandni Chok to China before Om Shanti Om released, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, I was really keen. I was, I was really excited because uh, a because I was a sports person, I always wanted to do an action film. And this was just after Om Shanti Om, where I had already done a double role and Nikhil offered me another double role. And I was really excited. Um, and also the fact that I have two, two completely different roles and two completely different looks in the film. Now, just touching on the subject, you had to do a double role. What were the challenges you faced? I think the more challenging part for me would be the, the role of Meow Meow, which you see on this poster. I think that was more challenging for me because I had to train for about six months to get all the action right. And also during shoot, obviously this, this character was a lot more physically challenging for me. Now you worked with Akshay Kumar on the project. How was he to work with? He was brilliant to work with. He's someone I've uh, learned a lot from. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's just getting better and better with every film that he does. And uh, he's, he's extremely professional and I've really learned a lot from him. And uh, only difference being that this time because I was new and I was working with him for the first time, he was very kind and sweet and now he's promised me that on our next film he's going to trouble me a lot. <laughs> Best of luck for that. Now, they wanted to give you a Chinese look for obviously the film. Uh, what was the salad tape business about? Um, they wanted to use tapes. Uh, we, uh, we thought that that was the only option to make my eyes look oriental. But fortunately, my makeup artist came up with this technique of doing eyeliner in a way that would make it look oriental without really using the tapes. <laughs> Now, what's the future plan for Deepika? Where will we see you next? Um, after this, you'll see me uh, in Imtiaz Ali's next. Uh, it's not titled yet, and it's opposite Seth. And after that, I start working on another film with uh, with Akshay. It's called uh, Houseful, mm -hmm. and uh, Sajid Khan is directing the film. Okay, brilliant. And um, as in, like, what advice would you have for all our viewers who are actors and models or aspiring actors and models? Um, I think it's very important to believe in yourself. Uh, don't try and copy or be like someone else. I think in this industry what works is being yourself and being natural. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you ever so much for being part of Brits Bollywood. Thank you. Thank you.